Hello everyone. So in this video I want to show you how you can deform train with curve. As you know recently I have added a new curve system into Godot. In another video I have explained about how this curve system works and how you can create a road mesh with intersection. I suggest if you did not watch that video, first watch that video and then come back to this. By the way, mtrain UI has been changed recently but everything has the same concept as before. First here I add an mpass node. mpass is basically a new curve system which is specific to mtrain plugin. In mpass inspector just add a mcurve resource. As you do that, if you did not create the oak tree, an error will print it which will tell you that you need to create an oak tree for curve system. Because our curve system support LOD or level of detail, it needs an oak tree to update its point LOD. So let's create an oak tree, just create a new script and change the inherit type to m oak tree. Activate the tool mode so it will run in editor. And in init function just call enable as curve updater. You can also set the LOD level for this. Ok I just add this script as autoload and now everything should work. As mtrain now does have a new UI, some of the shortcut key has been changed. As you have selected your mpass node, just hold ctrl and click on a screen. And this will create some curve point for us. If the snap train is active, this point will be stick to the train and this is really helpful. By holding the shift and click and drag on a curve point, you can change the curve handle and control the flow of the curve. Now in the case of the road, it is better to lock the handle in X, Z plane. I just collapse this point and then I lock the movement of this point into the X, Z plane like this. You can do the same thing by pressing Shift Y key. Basically this hotkey are really similar to the blender. Now let's see how we can deform our train with this curve. If this curve detect any train in the scene, it will print that up here. If I just click on this, a new panel will appear which has three sections. The first section is for deforming the train height map. The second section is for modifying a train image, which can be used in shader to create a road type texture. And the last part can be used to add or remove grass. All of this modification is done non-destructible. So first let's see how we can deform the train height map. We don't want to destroy the original train height map data. Or in another word, we don't want to save the road deformation on the original height map. For that, we need to create an editable height map layer. Just click on mtrain and add a new editable layer for train. I call this layer road. By the way, remember before publishing your game, you need to create a backup from your game project and you need to merge all editable layers. Otherwise, your release executable size will be much more and that will occupy much more RAM memory also. Okay, now I just set on which editable layer I want to deform my train and then here I just select a connection by holding shift and clicking on its points. You can see this connection color change to green. Now if I just click on deform tool and click on deform, you can see that this will deform our train. If I uncheck only selected and I click on deform again, this will deform all active points. By active point, I mean the visible curve points. This is defined inside the curve resource. So let me change that to LOD5 so all points will be visible. Now if I click on auto deform, basically this will automatically deform the train base on the curve. This makes things easy but this is not always a good option. Because auto deform first clear the train deformation and then it add the train deformation. And that can cause some problems sometimes. I will show you later what I mean. Down here we have some option for terrain deformation, one of them is called radius which is the road edge distance to the curve. And we have a fall off option which determine how road deformation should be merged to terrain. There is another option which is called deform offset which can be used to deform terrain lower or higher than curves itself. Just please note this option does not work well with terrain snap option which they clear the deformation of the road. So now let's see how we can modify a train image and use that in shader. For that first we need to create a train image. Just activate the paint mode. After clicking on that, you need to add a new train image. Click add a color layer. In layer type, you define what kind of brush system you want to use for your train. By default, it is on color paint which is good in this case. Then choose a uniform name and the layer name for your train image. 
Just please note, you should remember uniform name so you can use this image inside the shader. And the background color is good, it should be black. And now just click on advanced setting. Here I just need a black and white mask for the road. So I choose format L8 for the image format. L8 is good here as it has only one channel and that is enough for us in this case. Now choose a compression for this. I choose PNG and disable file compression. Remember you should not use both compression together. Very good. After that just click on create and this will create a new image for you. This also can take a while depend on the size of your train. If you look in the train directory and click on the train resource, you can see here we have a road data. So now to be able to see this, we need to add this to the train shader. In train shader, I just add a sampler 2D with the name of my uniform, just I add a M train prefix to that. Now here is the important thing. As you add the train image, it does not send that image into the VRAM memory or into the shader. That will remain on the RAM side unless you declare that image in the train shader with the M train prefix. The reason is that sometimes you need to add some train image which you don't need that in the shader side. Maybe you want to do some logic with that or you want to use that for changing the grass. In that case, the train image should remain only on RAM side. So because of this, as we declare that in the shader, to load that into the VRAM, we need to restart the train. So I just restart the train and now this image is loaded into the shader. Well, now I can read from this texture. Here the road variable contains the road mask. And it depends on you how you want to use this mask to create a road in shader. You can add a completely new texture for road. Here I am just going to change the color of the train where the road is located. On top I define a color uniform for road. And down here I just mix that color with the train color. By the way, if you want to know more about this train shader, I just put the link of the video which I make this train from scratch, you can watch that. Now I can also paint the road manually. I just activate the paint mode and I add a brush setting with white color. And then I just paint the road on my train. But we want to be able to modify the road mask with a core. So click on a pass node, write the name of the image uniform here, and then click on paint. You can see along the curve, the road has been painted. Down here, we have two color which can be changed. First one, the color of the road, which should be painted along the curve. And the second one is the background color or the clear color. When I active auto paint mode, the clearing happen automatically. Also, same as before, we have the option to change the paint radius and follow. And that is about the image modifying with curve. By the way, you can do much more than just changing the train color. This was just an example of how you can get these things working. So the next section is for grass modification. In the grass section, we have a list of all of the grass which is used in train. Each of them which should be modified should be activated first. For example, I just activate the green grass here. Then after activating, you should set if you want to add grass or remove grass. I just set that to the remove grass. And now if I just click on the grass tool and press modify, you can see this will remove the grass. By the way, this will not destroy the original grass data. This will create a sub layer for grass data which you should merge before releasing your game. I will show that to you later. You can see if I click on clear, the original grass data will come back here. Now let's put this on auto modify and change the curve point. You can see everything works automatically. If I change this to add grass, this will add grass along the curve. There is another option which is called a start offset. Basically the start offset will do the opposite thing close to the curve. For example, here if I put the start offset to 2, this will add grass up to the distance of the 2 meter to the center and then remove the grass up to the distance of the 14 meter after that. If I change this to add grass, everything is reversed. Now this road is really big. If you need to create a smaller road and you want to put some grass in the middle, I recommend reducing the grass cell size. So you can put grass more accurately. Well, now I do the same thing for the grass of type tree, rocks, and so on.
Okay, now I just continue to create my road. Now, if you see something like this, you just need to adjust the curve handle. By the way, curve train tools sometimes do not make 100% what you want. And most of the time, you need to adjust some stuff by hand at the end. And sometimes something like this can happen. This is because we set all deformation to be automatic. And in automatic deformation, we clear deformation and we add deformation. And if two roads are close to each other, this can happen. In this case, you can manually correct this by just clicking on deform to deform all point again. Or just move this point a little. Now if you click on one of the graphs which is modified by curve, you notice that we have a merge button here. This is because a sub layer is created for grass data. If I merge this layer, you can see as I move the curve, the changes that the curve made before is not clearing. And we have this line of the grass. By the way, I really recommend merging the grass data before releasing your game because that really reduces the size of the grass data. The same thing for height map layer. Okay guys, that was about the train deformation tool with the curve. I hope you like this video. If you have any suggestion, please write a comment. Have a good time. Until the next video, bye.